We'll guide you through how to use a song from the music app on your iPhone as a ringtone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you're going to need an app called GarageBand. This is what the app looks like. If you don't have it on your phone, open up the app store and go and search for it. It's by Apple themselves and it's free. Once you've got it, you can go and open it up. You'll need to rotate your screen and then here we are. And then what you want to do is locate audio recorder and go and click on it just like this. Then there are a few settings we need to go and change. So to the right of the red recording button, there's this sort of blue icon, click there. That's like a, a, a clicking sound, which we don't need because we're just adding our own music. Then go to the top right and you'll see that plus icon, which you need to go and tap on. That will open up the song section page and you want to go into section A and just go and switch on automatic like so, and then go and press done. There's some of the key settings we need to go and change. Now head to the top left and you need to go and click on the icon with the three lines, which is sort of broken just here. And that will take you to this page. And then what you want to do is go to the top right and go and click on that loop icon. And that will open up um, a few different options. And you want to go and click on music at the top. And now you can go and find the music you wish to go and add. So I'll go into songs. Now it's important to know, and it does say at the bottom here, that protected songs and songs not stored locally on your iPhone cannot be imported. So songs which you've gone and synced from your computer, maybe using iTunes or Finder on your Mac, they can be used, but other music, like music from your Apple Music subscription, cannot be used. So in this case, I've got some songs here I wish to go and use. So to go and use it, all you need to do is hold your finger on it and then move it. You get that sort of documents icon and it will then um, be able to go and move it in here. It'll then say importing audio file and here it is. So as you can see, we've got the entire song here and you may just want a certain part of the song. To go and make adjustments, you go and click on it and then you get this border at the start and also at the end if I can get there, which you can then go and drag. So go and make it your desired length. And for example, you may not want your ringtone to start at the start of the song. So therefore what you can do is go and trim it down a bit and that's why I want it to start. And then what you can do is hold it and reposition it at the start like so. To go and play it back, you can go and click on that play button and you can hear how it sounds. But once you're ready to go and use it as your ringtone, then go and click on the arrow in the top left and then click on my songs and I'll go and say saving, and you'll go and see which one it was just saved as. In my case, it was my song 13. If you haven't used GarageBand before though, it'll probably be my song one or just my song. But go and find the song you just saved and hold your finger on it like so. And you want to go and click on share. And as you can see, we then have these different options. And in this case, we want to make a ringtone. So I'll click there. It then says your ringtone length needs to be adjusted to, to be 30 seconds or less. That's fine, I'll just press continue and then you can go and name it. So what you could do is go name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna go and name it hi, and then I'll press export, and it's now exporting as a ringtone. And just like that, it's now been successful. I'll press okay. And just to show you how you can then set it as your ringtone, come out of Gar GarageBand and open your settings. And then all you need to do is go into sounds and haptics, then find ringtone, and as you can see, the song I just set, I named Hi, is there. You can then click on it and you can go and hear how it's going to go and sound. It's that simple. And now when you go and get a call, that song is going to be used. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.